Hello, my name is Eduardo. I'm a Partner Solutions Architect with AWS, and I have here today with me... Hi, I'm Mark Brown. I'm also a Partner Solutions Architect with AWS. We're with the IBM Alliance team here at AWS. Right. And we have a lot of customers, Mark, that are talking to us, and they're building new solutions on AWS using uh, IBM services or AWS native service to build analytics pipelines, to build machine learning. And all, the, all the modern cloud technologies modern and cloud businesses. Cloud. Correct. But at the same time... They've got a back-end business that they need to keep and maintain. Yes, and they have the IBM mainframe on many yeah. occasions running thousands or even millions of transactions yeah, on the mainframe. So let's right? talk about that for a moment right. and the three worlds. Correct. And how is it that they can use that data on AWS to their benefit, right? Right. So on this side, you know, we're going to talk about all the things that are modern, mobile banking, payment partners, uh, all the web-facing, web-fronting businesses that are done, and a lot of those are financial in nature as well these days. Right. On this side, you've got your back-end, all your client data, clearing, settlement, transaction processing. These are things that are on the mainframe, going to stay on the mainframe. That's where they're best suited. So in this hybrid world, there's a set of things in the middle, the operational things, clearing, sales CRM stuff, servicing, things like credit cards, there's opportunities here for improving management processes and intelligent automation. Here's the place we talk about a modern data architecture in a hybrid environment, IBM Z and AWS working together. And this is what we're going to cover today. Right? Right. How can you bring the data from IBM Z to AWS and use that data with your digital channels, with your cloud native applications, your analytic workers, right? right? So one thing that you can use for that is called DB2 DataGate, and it's a solution that's going to let you bring uh, data from the mainframe to AWS in a secure way uh, so that you can push the data from the mainframe into things like a data lake on S3 or even IBM DB2 on AWS. Right? Yes. Imagine that you have your, all the data that Mark talked about running on the mainframe, right? And this can be billions of transactions stored on the mainframe. Customers are looking for ways to, to integrate that data with the cloud native solutions they have on AWS. Uh, but at the same time, they want to make sure that whatever workload they are running on AWS doesn't impact the performance of the transactions right. on the main. They want to do their modernized analytics, but they don't necessarily want to do it on the same system where they're doing all their uh, real-time transaction processing and uh, servicing. When customers uh, want to have near real-time mainframe data on AWS, right? They, like I mentioned, they can use IBM DB2 for the OS data gate, and that is a component deployed on IBM Cloud Pack for Data on AWS, right? And you can deploy Cloud Pack for Data, I think, in, on top of OpenShift. Yes. And we do have a managed OpenShift, right? Uh, there's a, a regular OpenShift, the Kubernetes platform sold by Red Hat, supported by Red Hat and IBM. We also offer a managed version of that as a service. So the customers can run their DB2, the data gate, and other things without having to worry about managing or operating the OpenShift or the Kubernetes underneath it. And that's the Red Hat OpenShift service on AWS. We call that Rosa. Rosa, yeah. for sure. With DB2 data gate, you know, you can simplify the delivery and the synchronization of data from the IBM DB2 for ZOS to call back for data for direct access to that data on AWS, right? That means that the, the data that you're bringing over from the mainframe can be virtualized can go through your ETL pipelines, and this enables you to create integrations into various different AWS services to all your All your modern analytics, uh, right. your, your EMR, your, uh, your uh, Hadoop kinds of things, you your, can do all that. Your Watson X dot data. Yes, size on that, that's your intelligent automation piece I was getting right. to. Yeah, and this the purpose of this is to fulfill what you mentioned before, right, Mark, is how do I use that data with all the with my digital channels running on AWS. Right. right. Now, uh, DB2 data gate simplifies the data synchronization between IBM DB2 on, on ZOS with callback for data. And what you get with DB2 data gate is data replication from mainframe, like I've mentioned before, to IBM DB2 on AWS. You also have one-click metadata integration with Watson Knowledge Catalog to build your metadata catalog and to do all the data governance with Watson Knowledge Catalog on Cloudpack for Data on Rosa. Uh, so this, you know, what's knowledge catalog help you automate all the metadata processing to simplify the cataloging of your data, you know, and make it easier for other applications to discover and consume that data. 
all, all those web-facing uh, financial apps, or maybe your own business, your banking websites can right. use this. Right. You take the front-end data and process it inside the cloud where they're at instead of burdening the backend. Yeah, and you also get continuous synchronization between your mainframe data yes. and the data that you're bringing to the cloud. Now, as Mark mentioned before, right, some of the applications that uh, on the digital channel running on the cloud, but we also talked about all the analytics and the ML use cases, right? So if the mainframe data is cataloged on AWS, what are some of the things that we can do with that, right? Well, you can do call center the, or your automated chat for those things. People asking, what's, what's my bank account? What's my latest trans set of transactions? These are things that all be front-ended and not back-ended. Right. So, and you can also integrate that with dashboards like uh, QuickSight or IBM Cognos uh, Analytics running on call factor data. And fraud detection. Fraud detection. Those kinds of things. And you can also, I believe, use this data with... SageMaker or Watson Studio, right? Right. To train your models and deploy your models and gain insights into your customers. And that's particularly interesting for marketing also, right? Because you can make more accurate campaigns and targeted marketing okay. suggestions for customers. Right? And all of this is good because we talked about the real-time aspect of this. Right. This connection between the back-end mainframe and this hybrid environment, AWS offers a service called Direct Connect dedicated guaranteed bandwidth, secure, encrypted, yep. between the sites. Uh, just want to mention that as well. So the data, correct, and that's really yeah. important, right? Because it's critical for these customers that the data is not moving over the public internet. It's not internet. over the wire, right? It's not over the, correct. So these are some of the things that uh, customers can do when they bring their mainframe data onto AWS, like Mark said. You know, you create a hybrid modern data architecture to generate new insights and you know bring new value to your business using combining AWS native services with IBM mainframe. And this is a very cool opportunity. We have customers doing this. Uh, we may do a separate video about uh, ZOS modernization stack, which is a set of integration tools that add to this and work in concert with this to help better integrate those cloud-based, those web-facing apps with your data on the back end. All right, that's a deal. Then we'll, we'll see that on the next video. Thank you, everyone, for watching. See you next time.